A lot of companies, smartphones are expected to be one of the hottest buys this holiday season. But how do you know you're getting the right one for you or someone else? Consumer advocate Jen Strathman is your guide to smartphone shopping. From the camera to the keyboard, there are lots of choices if you're shopping for a smartphone. What apps I can get, usage kind of stuff, internet, get emails on it from professors. We're showing you the must-have features to fit your lifestyle. The accessibility to be able to get on email and easy texting. Best Buy sales manager Alicia Unger says figure out what you really want to do with that smartphone. Are you going on the internet? Are you looking to attach it to Facebook? Are you looking to, you know, send a ton of messages? Consumer Reports senior electronics editor Mike Geekus says the operating system really makes the difference. If you're a real social networker, if you're comfortable with, with technology, um, you may lean towards an Android phone. The HTC Thunderbolt and the Evo are popular Androids, along with the Motorola Droid. If you're big on TV, music, and games, you might lean more toward Apple's iPhone. It's a superb multimedia machine. And if messaging is your big thing, a BlackBerry may be for you. They have great keyboards, the latest crop of better screens. If you want a phone that's easy to use, both Best Buy and Consumer Reports agree the iPhone is the phone for you. Even though it is a smartphone, it's, it's on the cutting edge of technology. It's really simplistic in the, the way that it operates. Many smartphones use touchscreen technology, but if you're buying for a teen or an adult who loves to text, a keyboard may make more sense. Some keyboards have letters and numbers, but others, they look more like a game controller. So if they're really into gaming and maybe playing some gaming apps, they can have that real easy access to navigate through different games. If you like taking pictures, the camera is also something to consider. This one has an 8 megapixel camera, which is, is really good for a, a smartphone. Smartphones originally, you know, had like 3 megapixels, 4 megapixels. The more features you get, the more you'll pay for your phone, although there are some deals out there on older model smartphones. Price is also a factor in choosing a carrier. Most cell phone companies no longer offer unlimited data, so figure out how much you'll use the internet, and that includes those apps. Statistically, it was shown that people, by and large, look at their cell phone 150 times a day. That may be hard to believe if you have a regular phone, but think of all the people who look down at their screen instead of looking up. The phone's ability to connect to your car, your stereo, and your computer are also things to consider. And if you're looking for a gift for someone who already loves their smartphone, Best Buy says there are new accessories for your apps that enhance the experience. How about this? A wristband that can actually track your calories, activity, and sleep patterns. On your side, Jen Strathman, News Channel 5. Thank you, Jen. Consumer Reports recently rated smartphones. To find out how yours tested out, check out the link in the Smartphone 101 story on Newsnet 5.